don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This what a BMG niggas do. They get big racks, you feel me? You already know BMG got this city hot. That's a fact. the I'm gripping the medic. I'm feeling like Cleo. I set it off. Shit, it get tragic. I'm making a basket. He catching a bullet like Randy Moss. Niggas is faggots. I feed him the maggots. You ain't with the shit, so don't get involved. I catch him lacking like fuck all the chat. And my nigga, I'm feeling to let it off. I, I catch him. What's good, Stella? It's your boy Class, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reaction Channel on the tube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Today I'm gonna be reacting to OMB JD Pain. But before we get into that, check out my new shit. If you like it, the link will be in the description below. Go run it up, leave a like, leave a comment, all that shit. You feel me? All comments is good comments because they all give me paid. Anyways. I'm reacting to the pain, right? But before I even get into the reaction and shit, I seen the preview on Instagram. Fabio just dropped a song called Trust. Now he dropped this shit. Now I seen the preview. I seen where the song is already going and shit. So now with me putting two and two together, it's like, yo, that whole argument they did on Instagram was for promotional purposes only. You feel me? They did that shit to promote both songs and shit. I mean... I don't think it was a good marketing scheme just off the simple fact that Fabio's in the industry and JD is not. So, you know, a lot of people will see what Fabio is saying, but niggas wouldn't really, you know. I mean, it might have helped JD out because the, the, the mainstream fan base would have trickled down and want to see who JD is and shit. So, it might have helped JD in the situation, but then again, it probably didn't because people probably like, oh, who is that person? Like, I care about it. He's talking about one of his mans in the hood. I don't really care about that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get straight into the reaction and see what he what, what got to talk on this one. Because from the preview, he looked like he was talking. He was talking that shit. This is what I'm talking about, my boy. When I reacted to your last shit, I said to you, I say, yo, if you come out with better quality videos and better audio quality and shit, shit a flick. You feel me? The reason why I be saying that to niggas, true say, is because y'all really got a passion for making it in this music. You see, like me, when I be dropping music, I don't really take this shit serious like that. So that's why I really, you know what I mean? I don't be caring. But now that I jump back in the water, I'm going to definitely start putting out better quality audio, better quality visuals, all of that shit. But anyway, like I was telling you, this is good for you. This is this this makes you more presentable. Now people see you, like especially these white people that want to invest money, they're looking at you like, all right, yeah, he's more marketable. We don't really have to put in that much work with his image or whatever. When you already come presented, now, I mean, they got to welcome you with open arms because you already doing the numbers. You feel what I'm saying? And it's not like your shit trash. Yo, you know, it's crazy, y'all, before we get it, um, let this shit rock, right? It's crazy. Me and this nigga used to go back and forth all the time and shit because of the reactions. Like, at a certain point, I used to roast him for... Certain shit in this video, I used to roast him for certain balls and shit like that. You feel me? It went to where me and him exchanged words and shit. But you feel me? With time, people grow. And I expect everybody else to do the same shit. Nigga, grow with time. Because it ain't no beef until somebody get actually touched. Uh, couple shit I gotta speak about. Cause when I'm thinking to myself, for the real, this shit be starting to tweak me out. I wanna talk and get the floor through. I know the fans think they're like, but JD gonna tell us we going through. I got some things that I feel I like that one right there. <laughs> got indicted for some rape shit. Big getting pussy. I ain't got to take shit. I like that right there. I like how you put that together and shit. But did you get indicted for rape or you... Your charge was rape on the indictment with other charges. I don't. This shit, that that whole situation kind of confusing to me. How do you get indicted for rape? Like that means it would have to be several people on that same indictment for the same for the same rape shit. 
ain't getting pussy, ain't gotta take shit. These niggas, they know the reason I'm sick shit. These bitches face it. Four niggas beat that charge. My own niggas ain't guard you know some fake shit. You know how I feel? They ain't locking the cell, you know. Yo, that's some real shit. It's kinda like like with the Tory ladies and making the stallion situation and shit. Nigga, your own friends and shit. When certain shit come about and they see the media bashing you and shit, instead of niggas defending you. Know what I mean? Because they know you and they know your, your your character more than anybody else would. They are joining Bash too because they want the clout behind the situation. You feel what I'm saying? That shit is ridiculous. <laughs> So he must be talking about he must be talking about Fabio right here. He said he ain't mad he ain't get a chain too. Like somebody ain't somebody somebody I mean the rest of the niggas got chains, he ain't get a chain. That's crazy, but he came through with that bell though. That's what really do matter, that bell. Want you to know I'm happy as ever. I know that you my man, we still win this together. I know the shit we've been through. They try to fuck with my mental, just know they had never turned me against you. Never. Happy that you made it, I'ma make it nigga simple. Yeah. Get up out the hood and take your family, that's what men do. Right. If we got a problem, six and up. I'm feeling, see, this is rap, nigga. This is fucking rap. What do you other niggas be doing? It's not rap. This is rap right here, nigga. Nigga putting real situations that really happen into, into the song that you can feel it. You feel that shit because you know the stories that be going on and all of that shit. Now he telling his part of the story what you didn't see. You can feel that shit. That's real shit. You feel me? A lot of y'all niggas put shit in y'all in y'all raps that other people do and shit that y'all see or that y'all been around. He's talking about what he actually going through. And... The, the reason why I say it's real rap, because he got so much to say about the situation without going off topic. A lot of niggas will start off talking about one situation and then spin off to a whole nother to topic talking about bitches and champagne when you were just talking about your struggling. Shit should be crazy, bro. That's what Crips do. You said my dog, they let you win. I know I'm meant to. Mm -hmm. She be jacking a little bro. She fucking with the op. She cut the shot. They mother or not. Let's go. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Who he talking about? Who he talking about fucking with the app she catch a shot, baby mother or not? His baby mom or Fabio baby mom? What's going on? Bro, she fucking with the oh, Lord. You my dog, they let you win. I know I'm meant to it. She be jacking a little bro. She fucking with the app she catch a shot, baby mother or not? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't even feel the same. He must be talking about somebody else because he said little bro. Fabio older than him. So I don't know. Smells and I was stuck on the rock. Come on. God, I didn't got to say much. Whole lot of shit I tried to make up. That paperwork was me trying to print up. I told him not to top dog. Should have spoken to He said that paperwork is what? Same. I wrote spells and I was stuck on the rock. Come on. God, I didn't got to say much. Whole lot of shit I tried to make up. That paperwork was me trying to print up. I told him not to top dog. Should have spoken carefully. I told him that my opposition scared me. Never did I name drop. Saying that was his gun. If that shit to me, I don't know where to get that shit from. Unless it's his judge. And I was speaking while it's sober. I was going through depression and the pills was taking over. All me and seeing time upon me. And it was that real. Hold on, he said message to the judge. What the fuck? I named drop. Saying that was his gun. If that shit to me, I don't know where to get that shit. Never did I name drop. Saying that was his gun. If that shit to me, I don't know where to get that shit from. Unless it's his judge. And I was speaking while it's sober. I was going through depression and the pills was taking over. All me and seeing time upon me. And it was that real. Leading out food to see a black still. Look, no reminiscing, no I'm past that. Oh, he said nigga snitched on him when they call, he still be sending the cash out. That's that's love right there. You feel me? You don't fuck with a rat. Like sometimes you gotta you build bonds with people and shit. You actually have mad love for them. Like you actually love them like blood and shit, you feel me? And then you do some snitch shit. It goes against your morals, so you don't want to fuck with them on that level, but you still got love for them. You just got to love them from a distance because you don't support their lifestyle, you feel me? You know,
more, I still be sending the cash out So I need you to listen to me I know you're waiting because you get a free Want you to be big and better and different for you If I had to do 20 life for a cemetery Take care of your mother and don't do the shit that I did already Mm-hmm I'm going to go to the house 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 it's a rap. This is rap. This is rap. This is real rap. Like a lot of y'all niggas can't get on a beat and talk like that. Y'all niggas be capping like y'all could talk like that. Y'all niggas can't get on the beat and talk like that. Y'all niggas, you know it's crazy? A lot of people, I mean, put him in a bracket and say, yo, he can't make a song without dissing people. Or he can't. Even I was thinking that at, at one point, like, yo, this nigga make a lot of diss tracks. You feel me? Now he showed me and everybody else. Niggas is completely wrong. This is this is rap right here. You feel what I'm saying? Man, I get this shit a 9.5. Like, this is fire. This is real. This is real music. Like, nigga, if he start this shit and if he could come up with more songs like this and start this trend, my nigga, it'll make a lot of you niggas, a lot of you niggas be in trouble, bro. Y'all gonna really have to up y'all game. No cap. Y'all penmanship be weak, low key. But this some real rap and this is not drill. This is not drill. You feel what I'm saying? This is real rap. I get this shit a 9.5, man. This shit fire. Comment in the comment section below and let me know if you feel like I rated it too high or I rated it too low, man. It's your boy Apple Class. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Goodbye. If you're not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. BMG got the city hot. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man.